Should I stop eating at the start of the call to pray or may I continue till the end? This is an excellent question because um, it's a it's a matter that affects all of us essentially. So other than the different adhans that you may be hearing in the morning, the question of course is, so the adhan that I go with or that I usually follow, am I supposed to stop eating before that at the time of the adhan or am I supposed to stop eating when the adhan ends? Right? What what really is the point of no uh, no eating, the point of no return? So it's important to understand when we start fasting. Excuse me. قال الله عز وجل وكلوا واشربوا حتى يتبين لكم الخيط الأبيض من الخيط الأسود من الفجر ثم أتم الصيام إلى الليل صدق الله العظيم uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says eat and drink meaning you may eat and drink until the white thread becomes clear from the black thread of dawn and then complete the fasting till the night so that's the point at which fasting starts. And what's it referring to? This is referring to a phenomenon known as true dawn, or in Arabic, subuh sadiq. And subuh sadiq is when you look onto the, the eastern horizon where the sun comes up. This is way before the sun actually comes up, right? And you keep watching the eastern horizon about an hour and a half or so before sunrise. You will see two things depending on where you are, depending on how much light pollution is around. You may see a zodiacal twilight, which is a false dawn, which is a vertical ray of light from where the sun would come up. That's not dawn. That's uh, It's very faint, but that's not dawn. That's a false dawn. Thereafter, you would see a thin light, a thin line, Right, that basically looks like a white line on the horizon, the eastern horizon, where the sun is supposed to come up, that spreads right across the horizon. And it almost immediately starts spreading further and further and further until it reaches the entire, uh, until it fills the sky essentially. So the sky is no longer dark, it's now lighter. This happens before the sun comes up. So that initial appearance of the thin line that is true dawn, subuh sadiq, and that's the point at which we need to be fasting. So we need to stop eating before that point. Okay, I hope that's, that's clear. The problem arises wherein we, we have to now ask the question, so when does the adhan sound? So the adhan is supposed to sound the moment the mu'adhin witnesses that line, then he's supposed to call the adhan. Now, of course, we know that in most places in the world uh, today, we don't have a mu'adhin actually calling out uh, or actually witnessing that line and then calling out the adhan based on it. For most places in the world and most people, they would follow an adhan based on a calendar, on a calculation, um, on a printed calendar, an online calendar and, and so forth. Or an app, right? So... This is an estimation, right? Generally speaking, this is an estimation. It's not an accurate, um, it's not a definitive call for the true dawn's appearance. It's an estimation. It's generally quite accurate, right? Depending on, of course, how reliable the calendar is, but it's still an estimation, not witnessing the, the natural phenomenon. So because of that, it's not entirely clear when the Mu'adhin is going to start his adhan. So ideally... You should find out for yourself when is true dawn, if you can. If you can't, um, try to witness it. If you can't do that, either you can rely on the adhan, no problem. Then I would advise you to stop eating before the start of the adhan, right? Um, so that you know you are on the safe side of things, inshallah. Should you find yourself in a circumstance, however, we you were still busy eating during the adhan or the adhan started because it's an estimation, right? Stop eating and then consider yourself still fasting because again, you are basing your fast on this estimated period as opposed to a definitive witnessing of the phenomenon of true dawn. Uh, so there's no evidence that you actually uh, were eating when true dawn appeared already.
if that is clear. To make it as simple as possible, stop eating before the Adhan, right? Stop eating before the Adhan, that would be the safest and Allah knows best. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah